halfway up, halfway down. We're right in the middle, right there. And you can see the, the feature of our island as a peninsula sticking out, actually on this map of all of Greenland, you can see it. That feature there, which shows up as a peninsula, is now an island. It's probably the world's newest island, and it certainly ha its existence as an island, separated from the mainland, certainly has something to do with climate change. And climate change is, of course, politically and in every other respect, extremely important now. It's one of the two or three main issues uh, on the world stage. And so we thought this as a very visual very graphic example of climate change. The best that exists in Greenland, maybe the best that exists in the world at the moment, should be documented. I think a lot of people that will look at this will be fascinated with it because of its beauty, but also um, interested in it because it is a clear example of climate change. It is a peninsula whose ice shelf has uh, broken up and allowed a new island to emerge. One of the things that struck me about the island is it was very graphic. It, it was a beautifully graphic example of climate change and certainly there will be new islands that will emerge in Antarctica and in other places. It's a very dramatic graphic fact of geography that tells you that something is changing. Not to overstate it, but it it certainly is um, it, it certainly is a significant example of what's happening in the world today. And I think that if people look at it, look at the images of it, um, it may have some impact uh, on the thinking about climate change. <laughs>